Hey, 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 okay. Welcome back to Big Board. I'm in the squeaky chair today. And what we're gonna do is uh, kind of take the next step in exploring, playing a game by uh, reading the rule, just reading the rules pretty quickly and just jumping into it and see what happens. And I will preface all of that by saying I am, <laughs> I'm starting over. A <laughs> simple game like this, and I'm starting over. I got so excited about uh, Chasing Insurgents in this particular asymmetrical warfare game by Brian Train from Yar Magazine number two that I ignored a rule. And that is probably a good sign that the game is interesting. It's a bad sign for my ability to read and retain rules. Uh, what I had done in the previous video was read the one, basically one and a half pages of rules. And, you know, being the genius, gaming genius that I am, totally got it all down cold and started playing. Now, what you're allowed to do in this game, just so you know what I am going to be doing in the game called Army of Shadows, is uh, each unit each stack this is the state here this is the enemy insurgents here and we have a similar map over there with the same counters and what we're going to be doing is attempting to eliminate the insurgents and stopping them from occupying uh, four consecutive spaces or six spaces in total in the inner circle and the inner circle is this inner circle of all of these concentric circles and when you move, you may move one unit, two spaces, or move two units, one space. Important safety tip, right? That's it for the turn. You're not moving every unit, either two spaces or one, or one, one space across this. That would be wrong. And that's what we were doing before. We got a little excited about moving everything. Okay, so uh, now in movement is interesting because you can once you have two units in a space, the insurgents have to declare to the state, which is their map over there, that there are two units there and they tell them where they are. And in the, in the insurgents turn, they're allowed to have two units in a hex and when they do a space, when they do, they can propagate or grow another insurgent and they can pop that in any adjacent space. But you don't have to tell the state where that insurgent is so that's kind of cool but you do have to tell them where this guy is and also you have to tell them when you when it is when it no longer has two you say oh there's no longer two and the guy is now gone somewhere so that's how that's how these guys grow and move and you can do that in any order you can grow first or move first whatever you want to do the state is similar in that it can move or kill or move and turn now when you move uh, you move one unit, two spaces, or two units, one space. And if you end up in a space with a unit or two units, as the case may be, you end up in there, you can choose to kill it or turn it. And if you kill it, they're dead. If you turn it, you, the uh, insurgents have to reveal what is in every adjacent space to that unit or units that are in that space. And that's all there is to it. The, uh, in the state wins by eliminating 12 units, thus preventing these guys from having the minimum six required or four required adjacent to uh, make it all happen. So that's the game. That's it. That's all there is to it, apparently. I'll try not to make any more stupid mistakes. Here we go. Uh, starting game, I get to put uh, five counters out. And this is what I did last time, so we're going to do this. And actually, it was a very interesting game, the way I was playing it. <laughs> probably encourage you to try it that way where you let everybody move uh, certainly became a real cat and mouse game okay so I get to move two units one space or one unit two spaces I'm actually going to start I'm going to do this I'm going to go two units there and I'm going to let those guys know that there's two units there and they are going to propagate a guy and they will propagate a guy and put him there here where else to put it there so you can see it. Right, so that's what now the, uh, the state knows. If we look at over their map, they know that there's uh, two guys there, right? Yeah. All right, jolly good. Now, that is my turn. 
Is that correct? I had three guys here. Move one unit, one space. I can actually move another unit, one space, and I will do that, one space. Alrighty then. These guys can now move two units, one space, and they're gonna do this, one, one. We go back, and I'm gonna put them over here. We're gonna go back over to um, the insurgents, and the insurgents are going to go like this. Two spaces. Hey, kitten. All right. Love that squeaky, <coughs> love that squeaky chair. We moved this one chap, didn't we? So now it's time for the government to uh, make its move. It costs two movement points to move across one of these things. So we're going to keep coming towards these guys because we know there's something there still. And that's our turn. And now it is the turn for the insurgents. And the insurgents are going to move two units, one space. But first, they're going to propagate. Sacrificial lamb, one, one. And now, the state knows <coughs> there are no longer two units in that hex. And there might be units in these places here. Whoa, gotcha. Let's move this guy up to B6 where it belongs. Sorry, B7. All right, state's turn. State will sit tight with that guy. We need to get more guys out into the field, so let's go one. We can have three units at a time in here, so it's gonna go like this. We're gonna make a ring around the city. And I've already had a look at this. You can't have enough units in here or around the edges either to, to block uh, you know, by moving one, one space each to uh, to find these guys. So they they are going to be able to get in. I think we're going to have to keep one, at least one unit in here all the time. Maybe this, maybe one in here, and allow him to pop out and uh, find guys. Okay, so that was the state's move. Now the insurgents will do what? Move two units, one space. No, they'll move one unit, two spaces. They're going to go to here. Here, here and the state will well now they're not together so I have no need to go out that far I'm going to pop one guy out here that's two movement points and now the insurgents We'll hook up here, propagate here. And now I need to tell these guys that there's uh, two dudes in that hex and a propagation of some type. And we don't know where that propagation is, but we have a rough idea that's somewhere around here. Right? I don't know how easy it is to see. All right, so the state is chasing its tail. All right, the state. The state will fret about the fact there are now three units over in this area that we know of, two being here. If I go one, uh, if I go two to here, now I'm on the same row as these guys and they can't run away this way. They can only go this way. So maybe I can f herd them around the other way. All right, so that's our move. And the insurgents think that's a jolly good show. They are gonna use, ooh, ooh we're kind of hosed.
to tell me. One, let's move one unit two spaces, so he will stay behind and screen, and he'll go two to here. So these guys are going to move here. They know there's not two units there anymore. Oh, you know what I could have done? Before I move, I can propagate, and I will. And I will put another guy here, and I will now move two, and this guy will move one. And he will actually attempt to turn, and he's going to turn that guy. So he doesn't kill him, but he turns him, and that allows us to know from the other map that there are indeed units in all of these locations, and we're quite terrified by all that. I can basically play this on the one map, but it helps me if I don't see everything. This is, the, this is what the game looks like for the state at the moment. So we know that we have insurgents all around this area now. And we move, move, go back to these guys. Well, these guys think that's all a bit of a lark. And they are going to get the hell out of Dodge. So we'll move one unit, one space. Actually, we'll move this way, one space. And I'll move this unit one space. So now it's the government's move. We know this guy left. Well, we can only assume that he went here or here. And I know that there are guys adjacent. So let's kill this guy. Let's go two to here. Boom. Is there a unit there? In B9? No, there's not. <laughs> no, okay. So there's not a unit in B9. It must have moved, possibly to here. And we know it only could have gone to here or to here because the other guy moved one space as well. So now we're kind of a bit of a pickle. Squeaky, squeak, squeaky, squeak. Right. So. We move to here. We know that the state is there and we're here. Now is the time to combine. Boom, we're going to combine in here. And I've got to tell them that and I'm going to propagate. I'm going to propagate here. No, I'm not. I'm going to propagate here. So I've got to tell that to the state that there are two in C11. And that they're propagated, and we don't know where. Well, they could have propagated to be 11. All right, so this is what we know over here. Hmm. I know I got two guys, we got two guys there, that's what we know. And we think there might be guys here. We're going to be a propagation here or here. Let's try and see if we can kill something here. Unless they went that way. What if we leave this here and go like this to B11? See what's in B11. B11 has nothing. Damn. Okay. <clears throat> but it puts us one closer to this. So now, well, the insurgents have a tough choice. Do they let this... Uh, let this thing... Well, this, we could let this guy propagate, right? He could propagate to here, and then we could lose the two guys. And then I can move two other dudes. Uh, kind of cycle away. Let's go like this one, one. All right. And so over here, I know they propagated potentially into any of these hexes, spaces. They're there, so we have to take them out. Let's get in there and let's let's kill. We don't care where the other guys are, let's kill them, let's take them out. We need to get guys off the board. So that's two dead. That's two dead insurgents. The victorious report comes back. Um, really 
tough choices here. So that was the state. Now, come back over to the insurgents. Insurgents can maybe try and make a little bit of a rush for the... Uh, I could get four guys adjacent here. So we're going to start sneaking in here. Two. And that's it. Now the state says, hmm... Where to, where to? There could be guys in any direction. Well, let's try closest first. Closest, I'll drop back to B10. B10 indeed has one. And we will try and turn B10. And that tells us that there is a unit there. That's all. See? Oops, sorry, dudes. What are you doing? I need a little tiny up there. Okay, so we turned that guy so we can't kill him. We didn't find a whole lot, did we? These are all unknown. I only found one. Well, I'm gonna move this guy. I'm not gonna tell him where I moved, but I'm actually gonna sneak into here. Now I have one unit in, and that was two movement points. Okay, the state. Well, I think you get the idea, right? I think what we've seen here is, first of all, let's, let's talk about the game rules and how easy it was to pick that up after my first little mistake. We're, we're actively playing the game, thinking about the strategy and the decision cycles that we need to go through to try and win for either side versus wondering about the rules. And I'm actually, I'm actually becoming more and more immersed in this as I'm playing it. And I'm finding it quite the, the, the cool little puzzle game. And I'm sure there are some nice little tricks to this that uh, are pretty, that would be obvious, fairly obvious probably if I stopped and thought about it for a little bit. Here's the thing with a game like this. It, you can be dismissive of it and go, oh, well, you know, what is it really showing me? Or well, there's a lot of things I think that we can see here in terms of the lack of information. And when we do find information, we act upon it. And sometimes that information is fresh and sometimes it's stale. Uh, we can't cover all the bases all the time. And uh, we're, we're having to focus on, you know, very specific areas of the map uh, because the rule says that I can move two pieces one space or one piece two spaces in my turn not move every unit one space or two spaces duh that completely changes the game it's bringing focus into certain areas and you're having to make choices about well what am I going to move where am I going to move it how am I going to get into here into this area uh, when is the right time to propagate? When is it not the right time to propagate? Where's a safe place to propagate? Really interesting. So you, I, and one of the reasons why I want to stop now and not play through any more of this is because I, I want to concentrate on the game itself and not worry about moving the camera for you and going through that whole exercise. Maybe I'll come back and I'll give you a little wrap up on, on what actually ended up happening. But I think, uh, I think you get a feel for the game, number one, and number two, you get a feel for... Uh, with something this simple, uh, a rapid assimilation of a set of rules and the ability to dive into a game from uh, my previous previous video, I read you the rules and discussed them and then <laughs> played them wrong. So uh, it didn't take a lot of time for us to get into it and it certainly did not take us a lot of time to understand we'd made a mistake, first of all, and then... Uh, reset and get started so uh, a worthwhile little exercise talk to you soon and let's uh, play some more i'm your shadows by brian train from yar magazine number two in just a little bit ciao